Good evening. Tonight, I'm going to be pointing a $500 telescope at the iconic Pillars of Creation. Can we outshine images taken with the Hubble Space Telescope by using a $500 smart telescope from our light polluted garden? Let's find out. I'm Damon Scotting and this is Astronomical. Our first wonder tonight is located just to the west of the red supergiant Betelgeuse. This is one of the most colourful objects visible in our winter sky. Here is the Rosetta Nebula. At 100 light years across and located 5,200 light years away, the Rosetta Nebula is perhaps slightly less well known than the likes of the Horsehead and the Orion Nebula, but some might say it is the most beautiful of them all. At its centre is a beautiful open star cluster, giving it a hidden treasure chest kind of vibe. Many of the Rosetta Nebula's most massive stars are located in the centre, with masses up to 50 times that of our Sun. Their intense winds and high energy radiation created the region's central cavity. When imaged in standard colour, the nebula produces a soft red glow, making it easy for the camera to spot. It sits amongst a whole variety of nebulae, each with their own unique colours. In this 32 megapixel image captured by the Seastar S30 Pro, you can see its location in relation to the Christmas Tree Nebula. When we zoom in, the intricate structure starts to reveal itself, as well as the core cluster of stars, whilst the million dollar remote observatory takes it to a whole other level. Its narrowband image reveals the different layers to the Rosetta Nebula's beauty. This 62 megapixel image lets you jump straight into the very core of this magnificent wonder. Hubble zooms into a small portion of the nebula that is only four light years across, which is about the same as the distance between our sun and our next nearest star system. These varying levels of nebulosity make for an absolutely spellbinding close-up view. In terms of beauty, the Rosetta Nebula scores an 82. For power, it earns a respectable 70. And lastly, for mystery, it rates at a 60, giving this unique nebula an overall wonder rating of 71. I really do enjoy capturing the Rosette Nebula. It makes for a very special astro image and it ranks in position 28th on our Wonder Wall. Now our next wonder is a galaxy viewed from a very interesting perspective. Yes, we've all seen hundreds of spiraling galaxies, but have you ever seen one directly edge on? This is the Needle Galaxy. Now I love edge-on galaxies like this. They represent such a unique perspective. They're actually surprisingly common and unlike a needle in a haystack, you will have no problems finding this wonder. It's not too far south of one of last week's wonders, the Whale Galaxy, and actually sits amongst a very densely populated galactic region. But what makes the Needle Galaxy special is that even with a $500 smart telescope, you can clearly make out the structure of the galaxy as well as both faces of its bright galactic core. The Million Dollar Remote Observatory identifies a lot more colour. You can see the older red stars towards the centre of the galaxy and the younger, hotter blue stars towards the outer reaches. Hubble focuses on the edge of the needle as opposed to the eye and gives us our most detailed look to date of NGC 4565. However, its less scientific nickname is the Flying Saucer Galaxy. Well, as for the ratings for our UFO galaxy, its beauty scores just one less than the infamous Sombrero Galaxy another edge on wonder. Its power scores 78 and its mystery is a 70, giving the Needle Galaxy an overall wonder rating of 77. The Needle Galaxy makes for an interesting addition to our wonder wall and it's a great all-rounder in terms of power, beauty and mystery, hence why it gets the ranking position of 17th on our wonder wall.
Now to finish things off for this episode in style, we're going to look at what is one of the most iconic sites in the history of mankind. This is without a doubt one of the most profound and thought provoking images ever captured by our species. Here are the pillars of creation. When I was 10 years old, my mum took me to the National Space Centre for the very first time. And to be honest, it was all mostly forgettable. But the one thing that really stuck with me was that whilst we were waiting to go into the planetarium, there was a huge framed picture outside mounted on the wall. And it was really big. The image was of the pillars of creation. And I just remember the small text alongside it, explaining that this was out there in space and could fit thousands of our solar systems within it. I couldn't have possibly explained the feelings that I felt in this moment. At the time, I just took it as fear. However, now that I'm older, I'm pretty sure it was my first experience of existential dread. So that was my first real connection with astronomy. Long before I'd even wanted to start taking pictures of our night sky, I saw this image and felt smaller than I've ever felt before, terrified by the vastness of our cosmos. But now that I am older, wiser, and don't have a mohawk and a gold stud earring, yeah, thanks mum, I like to think that I've conquered this fear, this overwhelming sense of existential dread. Because I can now capture this wonder from my bedroom window. It is no exaggeration to say that I have captured thousands of images of the Eagle Nebula. It's not the easiest target for us northern hemispheres, but it is without a shadow of a doubt one of the most beautiful. The $500 scope clearly makes out the structures within, especially the distinct pillars, but it's the million dollar remote observatory where things start to get truly breathtaking. It's produced a truly immersive view of these stellar nurseries, particularly those isolated and suspended clouds of dust and gas. And finally, we have the most famous rendition in history, captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. It also decided to image the pillars in infrared, producing an image that for some reason has always reminded me of the ancient Mew Pokemon card. There's just an indescribable sense of uniqueness about it. And if you're thinking, why is he talking about Pokemon? Who cares? Well, I mention it because only recently, the James James Webb Telescope took a crack at the Pillars of Creation and the colour palette is a perfect match to said card. I mean look at this, the births of countless solar systems taking place before our very eyes. However, nothing lasts forever, soon too shall these foundations dissipate as they lay the seeds for new eyes to witness the beauty of our universe and perhaps new souls to be humbled by its unimaginable scale. I like to think that many of you would have been quite satisfied with the idea that the Pillars of Creation is the number one wonder of our night sky. And to be fair, with a beauty rating of 93, a power rating of 71, and a mystery of 79, it's not too far off. With an overall wonder rating of... 81. I've read a lot of predictions as to what the number one wonder of our night sky is going to be and many people have been saying the pillars of creation and that is a very valid guess. So I'm sure it'll be a surprise to many to see that the pillars of creation is actually ranked 7th on our wonder wall. Is that too low? Let me know in the comments down below what your own personal ratings would be and you could be another chance of winning your very own Seastar S50 Smart Telescope. That's not all that's up for grabs. By commenting your own ratings down below, you could be with a chance of winning one of these stellar prizes, including the latest and greatest Seastar S30 Pro. All you have to do to be with a chance is let me know your thoughts. What do you think of today's wonders? With just one episode to go, there is now only one more chance to enter into this giveaway. You can enter in a maximum of 14 times. That's once per episode. Best of luck. And there we have it, we have reached the end of the penultimate episode of the series, which means all that remains now is to find out what are the 32nd, 15th and 1st ranked wonders of our night sky. That's right, I have saved the very best until last. What do you think it is? Let me know your predictions in the comments down below. I'm very interested to read them for myself. Thank you for joining me tonight, I'm Damon Scotting and this was Astronomical. That's right, next week is the final episode of the series and we are going out with a bang. We're going to be exploring the huge supernova remnant that is the Veil Nebula, the spiralling beauty of the Pinwheel Galaxy, and of course we're going to reveal what is number one. So get your guesses in one last time because in just a few days you'll finally know what is the ultimate wonder of our night sky.